morning, intern. How are you today? Are you ready for a fine day of scrubbing penguins? Because there's a lot of penguins to scrub. Oh my goodness, they are just keeping themselves uh, quite messy, even with the water. The water quality is actually fine. It's just that the penguins are being really stubborn. Oh, but Hourglass Dolphin 9 is giving birth. Oh, she has given birth. Oh my gosh. We have a new one, Hourglass 16, and look. Emperor Penguin 6 has laid an egg right in front of the zoo guest. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how exciting that would have been for them? I think she likes them. Look at this. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh, she's like talking and interacting with them. That is adorable. That is so adorable. Let's put down some Arctic moss to protect her little egg. There we go. I feel better about that. Good. And yes, today is Penguin Scrubbing Day. And we are also going to be seeing... Come here, little one. All right, yeah, you gotta get scrubbed too. In fact, let's just dive in. And it's mostly the penguins in the water. So let's just dive into the water, swim around, and track down penguins. If you see a penguin, try to try to grab it long enough to scrub it. Let's see if this works. Boy, okay, scrubbed that penguin. What about you? We'll have to see, we'll have to see. But yes, intern, oh, I'm so excited. Today will be the day where we pick another one of the Ice Age prehistoric creatures to add in to our park. So oh, I'm glad they finally gave me permission to do that. I love our penguins, but it's pretty much kind of a project that pretty well takes care of itself by now. They're breeding wonderfully. I am excited to one day have a park to show off some of the lineage of what we have helped work with. All right, let's get up here. I see you, little penguin. Na 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 na. Now you're cleaned. I think that cleaned a, a few of them at least, but it's kind of hard to swim after all of them. <gasps> Rockhopper Penguin 40 is going to lay an egg sometime soon. That's going to be exciting. We might just have to go through one by one, find and scrub the penguins. Oh my goodness, there's so many. All right, Hannah. Hannah, are you doing okay? She needs a little bit of stimulation. Uh, maybe if we give her a little, let's give her a little rock thing. She's got pretty much everything a salamander could ask for, I think. All right, let's pop down here. There you go. There you go, Hannah. Look at our giant salamander. She is so precious. Not feeling her best, but we have to give her some time to adjust. She does stay in the water pretty much her entire life, too. And she's very popular. I love her. I love her. I wonder where she's going. Are you going up to your little stream? Your little stream home? Let's watch her for a minute. Oh, Emperor Por Penguin 45 is sick. No! Ah, oh, the babies. Oh my gosh, it really is like a full-time job. Ah, oh, we'll have to we'll have to just like let the cycle of life occur at some point. I'm going to have to stop grasping on so strongly to our penguins and just let them let them be trusted to do their thing all right well if you're not very happy this smell is terrible someone needs to clean it up didn't we oh we didn't hire a maintenance worker whoops because we got distracted okay all right let's sweep some trash so you got to clean up after the people too all right out you go people out you go thank you for throwing your trash into the trash can i'm sorry i wasn't emptying it so sorry about that. There we go. That should that should help with them. Dancer's giving birth. Dancer's giving birth. Oh, and I really want to bring some of our caribou. I love how they've got there. We'll keep the caribou and the emperor penguins together <laughs> when we move them. Look at the new baby. Oh, precious new baby. See, I have got that long range, long, long range vision vision now where I just foresee our future zoo where we collect a little like a few samples of animals and plants from each one of the amazing exhibits amazing quest we go on <gasps> penguin number four is gonna lay an egg why don't we watch her waddle waddle over to her little egg oh so precious so precious i love how all the penguins are just like checking out the caribou they just hang out over here they're like oh something's happening are you gonna lay it over here Laying your egg next to some caribou's cloven hooves doesn't sound like the uh, the best bet to me, Miss Penguin. But I won't I won't judge. Do you like the mushrooms? Is that it? All right, she's still waddling, but she's going somewhere. She's going somewhere to lay these eggs. Nah, we can make. Oh hi, I know. How are you? 
How are you guys? You're so sweet. Where is she going? Oh, listen to that snoring. Oh, that cracks me up. Ah, <laughs> listen to that snoring. Oh, oh, she laid an egg, what? Oh, she sure did. Where the heck's your egg? Let's move that out of, oh, we're gonna put it over with this egg because that doesn't need to be right under the caribou's feet. I don't think that would end very well. All right, and let's see how Hannah is doing. <gasps> Hannah, you are so beautiful. I hope you're doing all right. Whoops, got in the cedar tree. Is she doing okay? Can she reach everything all right? She's gonna go rest over here. She's ready for a little bit of, of relaxation. Oh, drop, more penguins are sick. Can you not reach it? Or are you resting near it? Here, let's try this. Do I need to put it in the water for you? Oh, she's doing it. She's waddling there. Oh, wow, look at her go in her little area. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's beautiful. I love her. 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 I can see having a little Japanese salamander exhibit forever and a day now because they truly are just amazing amphibians up to five feet long. That's as tall as I am. Like, holy days. She's huge. All right, so let's see. Let's check on. All right, what's going on, little emperor penguin? Need your scrubs? There we go. Or, excuse me, rock hopper penguin. But there we go. All right, we're gonna have to just let the penguins be as they are. Let penguins do as they do for a little bit. And we're gonna pop over here. And now that we have a lot of people coming in, learning, raising awareness about the different penguin things that we've got going on, we're going to get the zoo a little bit, or the park, I should say, a little bit more exciting by adding in some more prehistoric animals. And in this case, it is gonna be a cave lion, a big, beautiful cave lion. So we're gonna be adding a cave lion in today. Um, and yeah, we're actually gonna add the cave lion in right over here. So she's gonna have a nice bit of space, nice bit of space to roam, nice bit of space to kind of stretch her legs. So let's see what we need to give her. Hmm, definitely some meat, definitely a cave, a large rock cave to live inside of. And yeah, we'll give her like a little wooden platform perhaps. Let's see, what can we give her in way of entertainment? Ooh, a nice cat climber. That would be pretty good. Maybe some glacier. Hmm. So we'll figure this out. We want to make sure that she's super comfortable and that she's got lots to work with. And it'll, it'll just attract people because some people are like, penguins? Here, boo, that's boring. And they really want to see like the, the prehistoric predators that we have brought back to life through modern science to use as educational purposes. It's not so cool if we're going to bring back extinct animals just to exploit them. So this is so we can educate people about the amazing aspects of the natural world. Oh, Emperor Penguin 2 is still kicking around and laying an egg. So let's go ahead. Let's see. Yeah, we'll make her exhibit. Hmm, actually. She could probably climb this. So to be safe, we're going to give her a nice high stone wall. Um, oh, I know. I have an idea. Okay. Let's put the glacier over here. Oh, Ribbon Seal 5 is pregnant. There you go. We've got a glacier over here. And then we'll do another interglacier. Glacier interception sort of sort of deal going on. All right, let's do this. There, that's better. And this. Mhm. Mm and over here and let's see almost there i don't like i don't like making it really there we go there we go i don't like making just like square places you gotta you gotta vary it up a little bit make it a little more exciting so she really prefers more of an alpine sort of look to her her territory so let's go ahead and give that to her do this one we go we're also going to need to finish connecting the fencing hmm yeah this will be okay 
And we'll do it like that. There we go. So now she's not going to climb out. I was a little nervous about that. I'm looking at that going, I don't know if that's going to be the best thing in the world. So then let's see if we can, can we fit the pine tree? Ah, oh, we can't fit the, oh, wait, 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 we can. So then we can give her a little backdrop of pine trees. Let's see if we can put that in. But I'm excited because I love doing our quest, but I really miss our zoo. So it's going to be a great way to kind of merge the two together to go on quest and then bring back critters from the quest. There we go. And this should also prevent her from trying to escape since nothing can seem to get through these pine trees. So it'll be really wonderful. And again, we're not going to exploit. You should never go out and be like, I just want to go catch a rare snow leopard. That's awful. You know, you don't want to just like go catch a rare snow leopard to add to your zoo. But we are going to help the concert, like we'll go places, help the conservation efforts, and then we'll bring them back to our world famous endangered species breeding area breeding zoo where we try to raise up their numbers and raise awareness and it won't just be endangered species in our zoo either since they are part of the whole web you want to kind of include the entire web of life in what you do you don't want to just like isolate it to one thing or another because if you go this is a super rare lion like that only lives in a certain part of india but or like tiger i should say and then you don't respect the fact that they eat this really boring like goat that nobody really likes, then you're gonna lose out on the fact that to take care of the, the tiger, then you have to take care of the goats. So that's kind of realizing the full circle of things there. Like to take care of some really beautiful rare birds of South America, you have to take care of the trees that take care of the bugs that the birds eat. So it kind of goes in a big circle like that. And Yuki just gave birth. Oh my goodness, our caribou. Oh my gosh, our caribou are just, are just multiplying. Oh, congratulations, you guys. And Emperor Penguin 1 is off to lay her egg. Uh-oh. I just, I have a hard time ignoring them when I know they're not feeling well. Come here, little one. What is up with our rock hopper penguins? Maybe it's gotten too cold here for them. Hmm. Oh, Emperor Penguin 46 is sick. What? Come here, you. None of this nonsense. My gosh, it's just really hard to keep the, the animals from getting sick. We might have too many. We might have too many. Oh no, see? Rock Copper Penguin 33 is sick. Huh. We might have to we might have to see about rehoming the rock hopper penguins. Or at least a chunk of them, because what if there's too many in the colony and that's why everybody's getting sick? Oh my gosh, hang on, hourglass dolphin. Oh my gosh! <laughs> There's just so much going on. Hang on, I'm swimming out to you, hourglass dolphin. Marine things always get a little bit chaotic after a while. Oh my gosh, more sick penguins. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to do it. I think, let's see if we could release a bunch of the rock hopper penguins out into the wild because I think we've got too many. And that's what is kind of going down here. So, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to just Come down here and we'll, we'll see if we can release some of the rock hopper penguins since we're more keeping track of the emperor penguins. Oh my goodness. How did you get into the forbidden pine forest? How did you get back there? Of course you're hungry and sick if you get back there. All right, so let's see. Rock hopper penguins, rock hopper penguins. Yeah, we're getting pretty high up there in the penguin, the emperor penguin numbers. It's getting in the upper 50s. Rock hopper penguins. Let us go ahead and release some of them to the wild because I really feel like maybe there's just too many of them and that's part of the major problem. So let's go ahead, we'll go through. We will release several to the wild. We'll rehome a lot of the rock hopper penguin colony. They breed very prolifically as well. So I think this will be a good thing. There we go. And what's going on? Not you, we need to clean you. Come here. Come here, I'm trying to get a cave lion put in here. There we go. I think that will probably help, so let's see if that helps things a little bit. Too many rock hopper penguins. We'll go ahead and add in a cave lion. And tomorrow I hear we are adding in the ancestors of our barren ground caribou, or I should say distant, distantly, very similar looking, very, very distant cousins, so. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. In fact, no, 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 not over here, so we'll have to see. All right, Cave Lion, what else do we need for you, darling? Well, let's get her actual cave out, a large rock cave for the Cave Lion. 
that we will actually tuck behind some big old rocks. Oop. Conservation Achievement Award. Oh my goodness. So they're very happy we released all of those. Tenth animals released to the wild. We could probably release 25. I think that should be a good goal. Release 25 rock hopper penguins to the wild. That sounds like a good healthy goal, especially for how many rock hopper penguins there are. All right, let's make sure that your place looks nice, my dear. Give you a nice little protected area to roam. So she can wiggle through all these rocks kind of into her own little cave area. We'll kind of hide it from, from the public eye, like this. Yeah, so she'll have like her own little private cave to walk into. Let's see. Post and rope with ice sounds like a good idea. A scratching post over in the trees, so it's like she's scratching on the trees, sounds like a good idea. Um, possibly, hmm. We'll see if she wants to chase after some frogs in the future. Cat climber? That's a little big. So we'll put in some of these beef shanks and ice. And then we'll put down some of her food. So I think we'll put in the artificial container with some fish next to a little place full of water. All right, shallow water, very small little pond right over here. People are so happy. We better check on how the people are doing. Oh, another sick rock hopper penguin. We really have, we will try to release 25 of the rock hopper penguins into the wild and see if that helps things. All right, all right. Good job in turn. Go ahead and smooth out those edges. All right, you've got this. So we're gonna add in a big, beautiful cave lion. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at these cedar trees, nice. Himalayan pines. Let's see, what about you, yellow cedar? Ooh, actually, I really like that yellow cedar. Guests would like some desserts. Well, guys, you're not my main focus. My animals are. So you're going to have to hold your horses. All right, there we go. Emperor P113 is really thirsty. Why? Hmm. Oh, because you're wandering way over here, my little friend. Of course you're really thirsty. You've got a little spot right next to you for food, but I'll go ahead and give you a little pond over here. How about that? Hmm? It needs to be polar ice pond, though. There it is. There you go. Can you reach that okay? Let's see. I've got to smooth this out. Ah, dang it. We need to make this a nice little polar ice pond. Are you doing okay? Hang on. I'll add some fish. There, he seems to be doing better now. Oh, and you need a scrub-a-dub-dub and some food. Ah. <sighs> As awesome, as awesome, as awesome as it is to be working in the wild like this, it will be nice to have everything nice and tidy and organized and not quite. Come here, you. There we go. Was that Emperor Penguin 36? He's over here. It'll be nice to have everything nice and tidy, organized, and not quite so uh, just tossed around like it tends to get here. Oh, goodness, look at that crowd. All right, so I think we're ready to add in our cave lion. I hope this is a big enough exhibit for her. I feel like it's a little small, so we might expand it before we're done. Ooh, beautiful. So our beautiful lady. Hello, lovely. Hello. All right, Victor can't reach the bird poop. That's a common story. I've heard that many a time through my years. Oh, goodness. Easy there, easy there, keeper. Easy. All right, biologist Yukov was just getting a little bit over ambitious there. All right, so everybody's doing pretty good. I am very happy. Let's let's see how our cave lion is settling in. How's she doing? She's gonna be looking at the block of ice. Let's jump in. We need to add some more ground cover in here. I knew something was missing. I was looking at that, going, hmm. Oh, that's better. That's much better. There we go. And we'll get her a nice, beautiful area set up. Look at all these. So she'll have plenty of cover, plenty of things to smell and investigate. We want to keep the animal enrichment up by letting her have lots and lots of things to interact with. There we go. There we go. Let's get some more elder wisps down. Because 
It's absolutely beautiful. Wooly Rhinoceros 1 is now pregnant again. We're going to have a proper Wooly Rhinoceri family before they are done. Alright, good. And then a few little fox gloves, kind of tucked up there and tucked over here. And one more cedar. And I think she's going to be a very happy cave lion. She seems pretty darn content. Hi, sweetie. Oh, she's just grooming herself. Oh, she's pretty. How are you? Oh, you already ate both beef shanks. <laughs> so I guess that was a popular choice. Gotta love those ice toys. Now where's she headed? Gonna go sleep in the shade. I hope she can reach her, her house. So we'll have to keep a, an eye on that. Can you reach in here? Walk in. We'll take out that little stone. Maybe it's in the way. I can, I can move it. There we go. Oh, she just plunked right over. Is there catnip in there? Did I mix in some catnip? A snoozy, snoozy cave lion. That's adorable. And what are you guys all complaining about? Oh, I give you a cave lion, a miracle of prehistory, and you just sit there and complain about needing dessert carts. Why am I? I'm still happy. I'm still happy they're here. Isn't that so silly in turn? But I just love seeing people learn, even if you do have to keep them entertained as well. So here you go, guys. Have some, have some cheesecake. We have someone dressed up as a caveman to assist you. Have some cheesecake. There you go. There's your dessert cart. Enjoy. Maybe people won't. Actually, I think I need to put it like this because I don't think people are going to the gift cart either. And I think it needs to go like this. Oh, there we go. Look at everybody line up for the cheesecake. Oh, Yuki just passed away of old age. Aww. I'm going to miss her. But it seems like everything's going pretty well. We are we are expanding. People are kind of settling in, learning more about the animals. The penguins are doing pretty well. They're still being a little stubborn. We will have to see if we can adopt out enough to get the Golden Conservation of, well, Ex of Excellence Award. There we go. Getting my tongue around that was a little bit tricky. And then we'll just continue taking care of our critters. And next time we will be expanding a bit more. Are you doing okay, Miss Cave Lion? Yeah, she just needs a little bit. There you go. A little bit more space on those rocks. Can you get in there okay? Let's make sure she can go in alright. Uh-oh, somebody's very sick. Emperor Penguin 13! Why are you in the middle of nowhere? There's like a lot of food and water right over here. So there you go. All right, and everyone's doing wonderfully. So guests are getting their desserts. We've got more Ice Age animals coming in. This place is really turning into kind of like a viable ecosystem with a few little projects on the side now. So I'm pretty happy about that. The woolly rhinos are just doing their own thing, breeding prolifically. So are all of the penguins. So are all of the barren ground caribou. And we'll have to just make sure that everybody, everybody's doing well. I just get the sense that this is like turning into a real ecosystem. So I will see you tomorrow bright and early in turn. We'll check on the park and then we we will get back to work on our little projects that we have going on up here. So we'll have to see. Maybe we'll have to get our cave lion a mate because she's already getting lonely. So we'll see about that. Hmm. And what are you guys complaining about? Go eat, go eat the cheesecake. Oh my gosh, they're all in line for the cheesecake. That's, that's kind of amazing. All right, and I'll see you in the morning, intern. Bye-bye.